I went ahead and got the horn off. Um, I only have the Skyline horn, I don't have the GTR horn. But it's just one connector. I kind of messed up my wheel a bit. Anyways, uh, connector. And then this is a 19. I broke it loose with my impact. Uh, tip, get the wheel locked, so it's locked. And then break the bolt loose, but run it until it's flush. So you're not gonna take it all the way off. You're just gonna, till this is flush. So there's all the threads are holding still. There's enough room to wiggle the wheel. And then I grab it from uh, three o'clock and six o'clock and wiggle it back and forth. And then from 12 and six, wiggle it back and forth. And then it'll, it'll eventually work its way off. Don't be too crazy with it. It's a 30 year old car or almost a 30 year old car. So let's get the wheel off. So keeping the bolt like that not only protects you from hitting yourself in the face with the wheel when it comes off, but it also protects the steering angle sensor or the clock spring. Because when you pull it, the wire doesn't get ripped out. It's just enough to break the uh, wheel loose. And then you can gently take it off and unhook the steering angle sensor. So now we're gonna install the hub. I got the works bell. It's gonna be a 616. It's the shorter hub. All right, and so this is for a Momo and a Nardi wheel. So you see a mark here and a mark here. And there's really only two ways that you can go. Uh, if you have a Nardi wheel, you're gonna go straight through here. Just like that, with the arrow. Since we have a Momo wheel, we're gonna have to feed the wire through there, through here, and plug it in. So we're gonna use the supplied wire. All right, and I'm gonna fish this through so I can put it on. You can see I got it fished through. Um, I just used a pick from the back, pushed it through. Uh, at this point, we're gonna line up our notch with the top of our steering angle sensor. And if you look, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but those two, the top two, are wider than the bottom two. So you can't really mess this up. It's just line it up and put it on. Uh, the one on our left is for the Nardi wheels and the one on the right is for our Momo wheel. So I got it on and now we're gonna torque down the 19. I believe it's 24 foot pounds. I'm gonna double check real quick and then we can move on to the boss kit. So at this point, we're gonna put the back of the boss kit on. Uh, this is the ground ring. It's also slotted for Momo and Nardi bolt patterns. Um, there's a ground wire and the signal wire. The signal wire is gonna to go to this and the ground is just gonna to go to this ring. Now just align that that dot to the pink, the little pink mark that we have at 12 o'clock. Well, it's at almost one o'clock now because we have it locked, but. I'm just gonna run the rest of the bolts in. Uh, I just forgot to say that if you're not gonna use a quick disconnect, at this point you're just gonna bolt your wheel directly to the hub. So I'm just gonna keep putting these bolts in and torque them down and then we'll move on to the wheel and the other half of this boss kit. This is what the other side of the boss kit looks like. We have a power and ground. Um, this is the Momo horn, power and ground, really easy. But we do have to 
change the size of this connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here and I'm just going to replace it with this one. It's a little bit bigger, but then I can just plug directly into the horn without using any tone rings or anything like that, or any grounding rings. So now all I gotta do is put a little bit of solder at the end, crimp it down. I got my little heat shrink up here, and then we can plug the horn in directly. So I got that on, just changed the size of the female piece here. Now we can just plug it directly into the horn to test it. So it's plugged in, and the horn works. So now we're just going to hook up the Momo steering wheel to the outside of the boss kit. Alright, there it is. So that's how you install the Workspell Hub quick disconnect boss kit with the Momo wheel. Now we just have to go test drive it.